rid of me even off the swamp. The Palestinian Liberation Challenge is not only Israeli occupation of British imperialism and British imperialist ambitions for the Middle East. Hudson Spencer is a British company uh, that has profited from and profits from produce grown in illegal settlements and has a historic part to play in the political support of the State of Israel. This is a Marks and Spencer were involved in drafting the Balfour Declaration um, who, and collaborating with Chaim Wiseman who would go on to become the first Prime Minister of Israel. Uh, support for Israel has continued to be a big part of MS's business philosophy, leading CEOs to win awards from Israeli governments, including from Netanyahu in 1998. Today, Marks and Spencer is a key member of the British-Israeli Chamber of Commerce and admitted to around $233 million a year in trade with the Zionist regime in 2000. The State of Israel. So this goes back all the way back to 1917 with the Balfour Declaration that was swiftly... Right, ...that Palestine is occupied. Resistance is justified. Person. I'm a very caring person. I really believe in humanity. I want us to come together and work together to defend human rights, yeah? And to stand up for human dignity. I love human beings. I love this planet, yeah? That's why we're so passionate about being here. I wish this was happening daily. I wish we were protesting about all the things that are disgusting in capitalism and racism. I wish I look forward to that day. Free, free! Free, free! Fight Racism, Fight Imperialism organises a monthly picket of Marks and Spencer's flagship store here on Oxford Street. Um, every month we're out to protest in solidarity with the Palestinian people because Marks and Spencer is one of the major corporate sponsors of Israel's uh, colonization of Palestine. They, they stock many Israeli goods um, that are produced on occupied territory uh, illegally and sold here in Britain and um, Br Marks and Spencer has always been a vocal supporter of Israel so we're here to show solidarity with the Palestinians. At various times fight racism, fight imperialism has organized regular pickets of Marks and Spencer. Actually back in the, the second intifada in the early 2000s for several years the fight racism, fight imperialism branches here in London would hold a weekly picket outside the, the store um, and more recently we've started up these pickets again because the Palestinian uh, people are rising up. They They've um, waged a, increase, a growing struggle against the occupation this year, starting with the unity in Defada in May. And um, right now, we're talking to people about how um, groups, including the Lion's Den uh, and other um, uh, resistance groups in Palestine, are fighting back against the occupation. I think um, in Britain, it's really, really important that everyone who's progressive, who believes in democracy, who believes in uh, fighting for humanity needs to support the Palestinian struggle. Um, it's not just like a humanitarian thing. We need to unite in uh, defense of the Palestinian people's rights because their struggle is our struggle. Everything that, every victory that they win, it helps with the fight here in uh, Britain against Britain's ruling class, which is oppressing people here and all over the world. And because Israel is such an important ally of Britain and the United States and other imperialist countries, um, it's really important that we unite our struggles here with the Palestinians who are fighting for their freedom.